Hello and welcome to my channel. Um, today we're going to do something fun. What we're going to do is we're going to create your very own website and this is going to be very raw. This is not going to be some uh, build it from Wix.com. It's not like .NET Nuke. We're going to be nitty gritty build your own website. All right. So you may know that I already have a website through uh, SmarterASP.net and I have a link below on how to sign up for this very account that I use. When you go to coding is for you. Dot com. It is it is almost like a playground for me right now. I don't have it set up and, and running. I don't really have a purpose for it yet. Um, I'm going to make it into something in the future, but I had it for a year. I just signed up for three more years because it's the cheapest way to do it. Uh, you can sign up by one year, two year, three year, and it's actually cheaper if you just do three years. And I didn't want to have to pay over and over, so I just said three years, like $150. Bucks. It's like $50, uh, 2 or $3 a year. Anyway... What we're going to do is we're going to set up a, a website and we're going to push a file out to it. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. It's not that hard to have your own website. So first of all, you need a web host. And what they do is they have servers and computers that are open to the Internet. And they, they'll give you an IP number. They'll give you a domain name. A domain name is what you see right here, smarterasp.net or coding is for you. You'll have to go out and pick a domain name. Find domain name. You're going to want to have something that's, uh, that's of course, unique. And I'm sorry if you already know all this stuff, but that's the point of this video is to show people that don't know. Oh, okay, so let's say Tommy.com. It's, it's very unlikely that Tommy.com is out there, right? It's not available, but something like TommyLikesBeer.com. That's pretty unique. Who's going to have that, right? Well, guess what? That's available. So you're going to have to find a name that you like. I prefer a .com because they're a lot more popular. They're a lot easier to remember. So once you have your name and you're ready to sign up, what you can do is they have a 60-day free trial. You can have your very own website for 60 days, and it doesn't even require a credit card. That's what it says right here. Um, so click in the description below. I have an affiliate link. I do get credit for this. A full disclaimer, I get credit. If you click on the link and you sign up for anything, I get credit. So appreciate it if you do that. All right, 60 days free trial. Now, if we go over here to hosting plans, you will get all kinds of different plans, and I kind of recommend just do the basic. If you don't really not really not sure what you want, go ahead and do the basic. It's only $2.95 per month, $3 per month, and you have your very own website. Uh, you, if you really are into like photography or something, or you're into yourself, you know, you have a website for yourself, you might do your full name.com. Like, if you were to sign up for a basic, um, you can come down here and get your options. You can get, you'll get an unlimited amount of web space. So you can put your files out there on the cloud. Like if you want to share files and stuff, if you want to push them out there, they'll, they'll store them for you. FTP is what we're going to be using to push files out. That's File Transfer Protocol. That's a program that takes files from your computer and pushes them out to their computer. You're always moving yours to theirs or theirs and back, okay? Um, let's see domain who is privacy that's the thing where it hides your name if you people can look you up and figure out who who owns you and they can contact you and so you can hide that if you pay a fee um, a lot of these they also have databases um, that you use you would have a database if if you wanted to have like a form like a contact form and you wanted to store email address or something you wanted to save it to a database way beyond what we're doing here today uh, let's go and look at uh, you also get email addresses you can have email boxes. So let's say your your domain name was codingisforyou.com. Well, you can create through the through the control panel, which I'll show you here in a second, email addresses which will have your domain name. So you can be tommy at codingisforyou.com, jim at codingisforyou.com or or admin or or help or support at your domain name.com. And then when people email it, it'll go to your account in in your control panel. Okay, there's all kinds of settings on here, but you, if you want to get started, I would do the basic plan, and it's been pre pretty reliable for me. I'm pretty happy with it. It's also pretty cheap, two ninety five per month. And if you buy the more you the more years you buy in advance, the less you have to worry about it, and also the, the uh, cheaper it gets. So let's log in. To, I'm going to go ahead and log into my account. So you go to the control panel, you click on ASP.NET, you click on sign in. And what you get is your control panel. So um, however much you paid for your site, I overpaid a little bit, so I have a balance of money in there. So that I'll use that next time. 
next time it comes up for me to renew in three years, I will ha- I'll use that money that's in there. I'm not worried about it. Um, there's the affiliate link, your billing, your settings, uh, your domains, the names that you have, and your hostings. Um, in your control panel, you can kind of control your website. So if you want to uh, add accounts, if you want to add people, uh, user accounts to, for other people to log in, if you want to create your emails right here, you click on emails, here's where you create email names like, uh, let's see, domain name, corporate, bulk, email, mailing list. You can create your own emails right here. Not exactly sure how to do that. Your websites, because I don't need it, need it that much. Um, you manage your domain name. You can have more domain names. You can have a site. Uh, your FTP, that's where you're going to be transferring files to your account. And let's show you how to do that right now. So let's say you sign up for an account and you have you have uh, a domain name. So you're going to go and get something like FileZilla. FileZilla is a free FTP program. And you're going to download the FileZilla client. You're going to run it. And what you will get is this little red stamp, FileZilla. And you're going to get this application right here. And this is how you're going to connect to your very own website. And we're going to do that right now. So let's go to File Site Manager because you can have many sites. You're going to put in your username, which can be found in your control panel somewhere. You'll find it in your control panel, your username. So we're going to do ftp.smarterasp.net. When we do that, it's going to know through our user account and account name and all that. It's going to know how to log in. And you're going to put your password in and everything in your account, and you're going to click connect. Now, over here on the right side, you can see I'm connected. I have folders. Over here is my computer with all my files. And over here is my website with all my website files. Now, if you notice, I've got tons and tons of files over here. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of a couple files right now. I'm going to delete, right-click, delete, kind of clean it up. Now, what we're going to do right now, so already what you're seeing right now are a bunch of files that I already created. I created a sample website in Visual Studio, which we're not going to do today. It's, it's beyond the scope of this. And I pushed them in it. I pushed them out there, and it was like a template, and that's why you see all these folders and all out there. I could delete all these right now if I wanted to, but it's all part of a template. Um, don't worry about this. So, But this is where you can see your files. All right, so let's go to the desktop, and let's create... Let's create a file and let's call it crazy.html. Now, now let's make the most basic website you've ever seen. Web page. Okay, let's do this. HTML tag slash HTML. And here's where you're going to need to know HTML. This is why HTML is, is, is what the browser uses to render the page. This is how you tell a browser where to put things, where to put your images, where to put your names, your text boxes. This is what organizes a web page. Okay. So I'm going to say my web page. Contact me at 555-555-5555. If you wanted to organize your church, whatever, contact list, and you wanted to do it in five minutes, I just did it. Watch. Now I'm going to save this as, I'm going to call it crazy, which I already, I've already done this in a previous video, so I'm going to go ahead and do it again. Crazy.html. I'm going to replace it. And just to show you there's no tricks, we're going to edit with Notepad++. There it is. HTML tags. Notice that they're highlighted in Notepad++. And then there's my, my web page. Now, how do you suppose this is going to look? Now, remember, this is on my local computer right now. It's not out on the web. It's not on the Internet. But we're connected. So what we would do is we'd go on here to the, to, on the left side is our computer, C, Users, T-Man, Desktop, HTML School. I'm going to go here on my computer to HTML school right here. And there's that crazy.html that we just created. Now I'm going to click and drag, or you can, there's other ways to do it, but you can click and drag. And it's going to push that file from my computer out to, out to their computer called FTP. If you don't know what FTP is, you use it all the time in programming, get used to it. We use it, we use what's called SFTP right now at our work. It's that secure file transfer protocol. This is not secure, but it's secure. It means it encrypts it. But anyway, a little tidbit there. So there's my crazy.html. Now, guess how we are able to go see that? We go to codingisforyou.com, which has all been set up for me, and I type in crazy.html, and guess what? There's my most basic web page you've ever seen. 
my webpage. Contact me at 555-555-555. Okay. So let's add some color to this for fun. Let's just add some color. I'm going to go to back to crazy.html. HTML background. Background color, whatever. It's style color red. Oh, that's it's just color red. Okay, so let's just make it red like that, just like they did. And then let's go back. We're going to, <clears throat> it's just color. Again, I save it. I go here. I, I upload, overwrite. I go to my browser where I have my crazy.html. Hit enter. All right, so that made the text, this text color. I want the background color. I want the whole page red. All right. By the way, if you want to mess around with HTML, it's probably just better to go here and go to uh, W3Schools, and you can easily change things here. And watch this. Test, and then run. See, test. You could change the color here to blue. See? It's easy to... You could do your HTML right here. Watch. Let's just copy this. Copy that HTML to our crazy page. Let's just copy the whole dang thing. I'll say, hey, it's me call me i'll get rid of that stupid link right there i'm going to save now our crazy now we got to push it out again you got to remember to do that right click upload i'm going to hit always use this action because i'm tired of overriding and now we'll go to our page which is coding is for you crazy hit enter hit enter F5, now you see how you can control your page through HTML. It's very easy. That's all great and good. Let's take one more page that's a little bit different and push it out there, and let's see what we can do. Let's open this myhtml.html, and we can notice that we have a little bit more that's going on here by background color is blue, coding is for you, blah.com, and let's push my HTML out there. And let's, let's make a change. And my HTML is right here. I'm going to upload. Now that it, that's uploaded, remember we have to change the name. It's my HTML. And I do believe that's it. My HTML is... Let's, okay, so here's a little trick. And you'll use this pretty often. So notice that the tags are, are gone. All you see are the names here. The tags are what marks up the language, called markup language. It marks up the tags. You can make it bold, headers, footers. Okay, so many often times you are going to be on a website and you're going to want to know the code that's behind it. You can right click on, I'm in Chrome right now, and you can go to View Page Source. Every browser has this. And you get to look at the source code behind and look, it's the same thing that we just pushed out there, right? This is the browser, browser rendition of our HTML. This is the background. Uh, this is the actual text that gets pushed out there. This is what actually comes to your, your browser when it comes down, besides images and things like that. You actually get this text, and your browser turns it into this. So your browser is really taking text and, it's, and images and, and all these blocky things, and it's turning it into uh, what you see before you. So you're really getting a rendition of something else. So there's code behind everything, but it just happens to look like that. So if we were to type in index.html, you are going to see on my page something that looks a little fancy now. So what I did was I downloaded a template that got me started. You can download templates, and this will have everything you need. So you'll have like, so you have start bootstrap. Well, you would replace that, and you would have, you put your picture here, and you would put your other text here, you know, and you put your pictures here, and these are links, and you would link to your other stuff, but this gets you started. So you can download templates, and I'll put a link in the description also where you can download free templates and stuff, and that's what this is here. Now, let's see. Let's go here and see index.html. There it is. It's right there. Let's download it. Download. If you upload, you're pushing from your computer to theirs. When you download, it's their computer down. 
Now let's open this. Let's edit this in Notepad. Let's take a look. Well, that didn't work. I want to open this in. Let's just go to our, our folder here. All right, there's our index. Edit with Notepad. And this was the uh, template that they gave me. And notice that it's a lot more complex. Well, all you have to do, you don't have to know all this stuff. All you have to do is go to your web page and say, well, start bootstrap. Where is that? Start bootstrap. Okay, that's the title. The title, this stuff right here, that's going to be, guess where? Way up at the top. I think it's hidden though. The, I have the title hidden, otherwise you would see it at the top. Um, let's go back. Let's find, let's make a change. Start bootstrap right there. Start bootstrap, and I'm gonna put, just to be really crazy, you dummy. Start bootstrap, you dummy. Web developer, graphic artist, super, super human, Tommy. Okay, now I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna push it back out. Yes, see it asked me if I wanted to upload it, and, I, and it just did. So now I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna hit refresh. On the web, on the internet, index.html, you can see this right now, start bootstrap, you dummy. Now it doesn't look good, but you're gonna have to fix that, right? Um, and what else did I change? Here we go, web developer, graphic artist, superhuman Tommy, see? This is how you change a template once you get started. Now this image right here, I don't know what that is. I'm gonna right click and click inspect. In, in Chrome, you can click inspect and it will jump right to that object in the background. And guess what? It, it highlights this image and it's called profile.png. See, you can, that's a really cool thing. If you wanted to hi highlight this, right click, inspect, it will come down here to that HTML I just showed you and it will highlight exactly where it is in the HTML. So let's highlight this. We're gonna go inspect. It's gonna be called, see that image profile.png. All right. Now let's go back to our text. Where is it? Profile.png. I'm searching for it. And yeah, well, it's right there. There's our image. If we wanted to change it, we would change it here. You'd have to upload the image also, and it would find it, and it would it would swap out what was there with your new image. Okay, I think that's as deep as I want to get. Um, please click a link below. Please sign up. It helps me out. Um, get a website. Get started. That's the best way to do it. When I was in college, the first thing I did was I, I thought, how can I get a job? And I wanted to learn ASP.NET, so I built my very own shopping cart. Now, it was very crude. It wasn't very good, but I built my own shopping cart. I just figured out how to do it, how to get a web page, get started, create your own web page, make it nice. How do I add to a cart? How do I save to a cart? Now you can buy, nowadays, you can buy tools that do that for you. You can buy entire shopping carts now, you, so you don't even have to do all that work. Okay, and you can tie into PayPal and all these things now that I didn't used to have, but you do need to understand the basic basics. So go click on the link below, get get an account, get a website, um, ex make your make your website, play with it, have something out there. And if you have any questions at all, I will do my best to help you. I answer every single comment that I can. If I don't answer, give me a few days. I will. I will really try to help you. Thanks.